Okay, my friend. So now's where it really starts to get serious. Now, this is a very simple concept, but it's very powerful. I mean, do you remember how we talked about the 80-20 rule, right? The 20% that's responsible for 80% of the results? Well, this is the 20%. This is a perfect example of the 20%. Did you know that there's actually a difference between promotion and marketing and what we're gonna do is we're gonna take yet another trip to Facebook and we're gonna look at some examples but let's talk about it what's the difference between promotion and marketing now most people thought they were the same thing they're not when you're promoting you're basically screaming from the top of your lungs hey look at what I'm doing look at what I have look at my company join me join my team buy this today but the thing is it's it's promotion it's not marketing when you're marketing there's actually a call to action and you're able to actually measure your results when you're promoting something you can't actually measure the effectiveness of your marketing but when you're actually marketing you're collecting information you're generating leads and more importantly you're giving people what's called a CTA which is a call to action so let's go ahead so let's go ahead and take a look at some marketing. So as you can see, I'm back to my Facebook wall and you know, we're, we're still looking at the results value lifestyle, right? Here goes some results before there was some lifestyle and you can see people on my wall. Now let's, let's look at some other people in make money online groups. So I'm just going to type in make money online and what what you'll find is they basically have little to no engagement. I'm going to show you the difference between advertising that works and advertising that doesn't work and then we're just gonna supercharge them so let's let's take a walk together shall we we're gonna pick this one right here and what you're gonna find is 90% of everyone who's advertising gets no engagement see no likes this one got likes but look what's the difference between this one who has people requesting information and this one well, this one ends with don't miss out on the biggest opportunity of 2017. This one says comment info. Do you see the difference? One is a call to action, which is marketing. One is just promotion, right? Promotion is just telling them what it is without telling them what to do, right? Again, this one has no engagement, right? But we, I think I saw one above, like this one has, you know, people requesting information. And more than likely, they said comment, inbox or comment to basically you know get more information and people are commenting right so let me go back to my wall and show you how I use this in a very powerful way to basically make my entire wall something about lead generation so look this is about the art of getting people to come to you I said if you have forty dollars you want to learn how to turn it into five hundred to two thousand a week type in 2k I want you to look at how many people typed in 2k right and you can do this as much as you want there is literally no limit to how many call to actions you can have right notice on the post that I didn't say a call to action there's like what two comments right but look on the post that I actually have a call to action and you know you'll figure out that basically this works you can literally put a sticky note on a gas pump and say hey call this number text this number if you want to learn how to make money online some people will actually take the sticky note home and call the number some people just call the number you know directly with the, with the sticky note but look I did it again comment 2k and look at all of these people commenting exactly what I told them to right this is how you are able to effectively measure your marketing okay so I want to show you multiple forms of calls to action you can see here there's no call to action here but uh, it's a lifestyle picture I want to show you a lot of posts with call to action so you can see the principle right watch this when you tell people exactly what you want them to do that's when they will do it so let's find another really, really good post with a call to action. This one was a great, a great example, 92 likes, right? Now I actually put a lot of effort into the ad copy on this post and uh, we'll, we'll break it down. Marketing is all about getting people to come to you, right? So you have to be attractive. So I use something like, if you would like to learn how to make autopilot weekly income using my foolproof autopilot step-by-step -step strategy, comment 2K. And I'm not exactly sure why I used the um, 2K as a as, as a call to action. Maybe because it's just easy to type. But you can see the response. 
right? The response was crazy. And this is only because of one reason, because I asked them to comment. It's something so simple that, you know, you can change your life and literally turn it around just by using call to actions. You'd be surprised. This one is like comment 5K, right? You can see people commenting 5K, which tells you I have a lot of people to follow up with, right? But I do this all the time, right? I'm like, comment autopilot. Let's, let's see this, this uh, marketing piece. This one was pretty interesting. I said, while most are chasing their family and friends, spamming and struggling online, my business is running on autopilot. I could show you how, but you have to join the team. Simply comment autopilot if you wanna learn how to do this. Notice on the post that I asked them to comment, look at the response. And I don't just do this in my Facebook post, someone like went crazy commenting autopilot. Look at that. That is insane, right? And I still need to follow up with all of these leads. I also, I don't just do this on Facebook. I do it everywhere. I'll show you an example of me doing this on my email list. So I sent out an email yesterday, right? So I'm going to go to my newsletters. And what you're going to find is that I use the exact same formula when, when I send out emails. So I said, I want you to like me, right? This is just a weird subject line. So I said, subject line, I want you to like me. Yep. Is that weird? My name is Jermaine and I want you to like me. Why? Because I believe everyone needs new friends. Right now, all my friends make money online and I want to be your friend so that you can make money online. Why do you think I put my phone number in my emails and marketing stuff? Because I'm a real person making real money online and you are the cool friend that I get to share how much I made today with. At the time, I made 400 so I said, made $400 in case you're wondering. At the end of the day, let's be real. You've been thinking about it and you know you're joining sooner or later. Why? Because because it's real and every single week on Friday I'm gonna shoot you a video on how I'm making 300 to a thousand a day showing you what hit the bank so you have three choices here's the call to action guys give me a call wait until Friday when I shoot another bank account proof video or watch this presentation and start making money online today a lot of people did click this presentation right the presentation did take them to a page or a system that basically had my number on it. But also the first call to action was to give me a call. So honestly, this particular uh, call to action literally had my phone ringing off the hook. Now mind you, this particular email went out to 7,000 people. Remember what I told you at the beginning about building yourself an economy, right? About building your 10,000 friends. This is exactly why. So just imagine this was sent out to 7,000 people and you can see here that actually 995 people literally opened this email. This is why you wanna create your economy and when you have your economy, once you have your your your, t your television station or your, your radio channel called what? Your social media, right? Your, your, your way of broadcasting your message to people. There's so many ways to do it. This isn't about just Facebook or email marketing. This is about any medium you choose, right? Any results you have, you have to give them a call to action. So out of 995, 68 people actually Actually did click and my phone was ringing off the hook some people didn't even click the majority of those people the majority of those 995 just opened the email and called my phone directly now do I always want to be on the phone absolutely not right but is it a good way to connect with people? Is it a fast way to get results? Well, you know what? I'm, I might as well just show you since we're here. This is uh, today's date, right? At the recording of this video, right? You can see right here, it says 19. This is a 19, so this is uh, 80, 160, 240. This is 300 bucks already, basically, right? And you can see there's days where, or like on the 18th, there's one sale, two sales, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, right? You guys get the point on the 17th. One, two, three, four, five, and you get the point, right? You get the point. So when it comes to making call to actions, you always want to make sure you tell the prospect exactly what you want to do. It doesn't matter if you're using Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter. It doesn't matter if you're using real life. You tell people, hey, don't hand them a business card. Say, hey, 
text this number and I'll send you a link. Why? Because you're capturing their information. Remember we talked about creating traffic, capturing the lead. In the next video, I'm going to talk about a unique way to capture leads on Facebook for free. And then we're going to talk about how to put all of this stuff on TurboCharge. See you in the next video.